Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Cyberlab and today will be another video about Proxmox. Yes, this video will be number 10. If you didn't see my previous videos of Proxmox, please don't forget to see, review it, because it will be quite interesting. So, returning this stage, this video will be number 10, where we're gonna show a little bit more about networking. This video, not everyone will be able to follow it because the first time that I install it and I try to do it in my computer, I have only one connection for network or one network connection. And in this way, I could not do it. So I needed to generate a virtual machine where I have more than uh, one network connection in order to configure it. And you're gonna ask Alan why I want to do it and why it's important to do it for me. It's simple, imagine that you have um, a server or one computer that have more than one connection of a network connection, or maybe they have one gigabyte and you have a, a network card where have a 10 gigabyte. So you wanted to use all your virtual machines, all your containers through this 10 gigabyte uh, card also, you want to choose that one gigabyte network card where it will have the Proxmox configuration. So using one IP address or one set of IP address, you're gonna be able to get all your Proxmox configuration and use another set of IP address that will be able to configure your uh, Mac machines or your containers. So if you like this idea and think that it was interesting, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and let's see how we can do it. So before I start to show how you can do this configuration, I'll explain a little bit about my machine. This machine is a virtual machine. I don't suggest you use it as a production, but I need to do it because the computer that I have current in the garage don't work because I have only one network connection. I tried to run it in the, such a way that could make it work, but no, didn't work the way that I expect. So I decided to create a virtual machine only to show you. So this reason that not everyone will be able to follow this step or this configuration. Have this one in mind, I come here in my summaries and I have uh, only one node and this node have one CPU, 20 GB of uh, run memory and around uh, 2.7 of uh, usage from my 19 GB of uh, hard drive. If I come here in my cyber lab, if I come here, I have a tree storage, I read great. This FS it's only one hard drive because I'm using everything the same hard drive, not make any difference. If I come here, my summaries, I have my one CPU where it's using almost no CPU at all, 0.86. I did some trials here and the maximum that I use is around the 13%. So didn't use so much at all. And on the thing, my usage was uh, 0.3. My run memory is almost zero, so it's quite good. Looking for this one, what I need to do? I need to go for the network, this stage or this step that you want to configure. This one's emulate because I didn't have an extra network card, so I need to do it this way. Don't to run it in production because it's not worth. Other thing, before we start to do any configuration, we need to set up our router, otherwise they will not recognize that specific IP address. To do it, I right, I have my router open here, I come here and extend. So what kind of configuration that I need to do in order to get it right? Here, it's my gateway, exactly the same that we're gonna use. And I put slash 20. What it means? It means that they will go for this range between 192.168.0.1 until 192.168.15.254. It means that they give around 4,000 IP address, different IP address and his range that I want to use, so uh, we'll cover the IP address that we're gonna configure. It. To create our bridge, we can do it different ways, but uh, let's do the way that I think it's better. Linux bridge, you can have a bond, you can have a VLAN or OVS bridge bond and into port. What I suggest you choose the bridge. The other ones, it's uh, for a specific uh, applications and we're not gonna abort in these videos. Other thing, because Proxmox is running Linux, you can go for Linux bridge. And when you click here, the red create automatically the number. So we're gonna leave exactly the same. The seat, now we're gonna configure it, will be 192.168.1.1, no, not 1, 
one slash 24 it means that it can go for all those IP address my gateway I can put my gateway no you leave empty but let's show you why not if I try show 192.6.2.1 to look like that same gateway and that I use my port my port I will use this port here it means that will be ENP 9s oops 0s9 and I try to create when I try to create they say the gateway default it's the gateway that exists in the VMBR0 so any gateway that you try to put here do not work unless that you use the gateway v6 but in my case I'm not configured it so I will remove it put any comments in my case we'll put containers now I create a, my first bridge I will create another one exactly the same step now we'll put 192.168.3.1 uh, slash 24 now the bridge will be exactly the same will be ENP0 but now we'll use the number 8 so we put here and I want to define this one as a VM and put create now I have uh, three different networks if uh, I want I have the fourth one now you can create a container I will not create a virtual machine because it will take some time and I don't want to spend this time so to create my container I will come here and first I will download my template I already downloaded the template that's great now I come here back and put create container now to create container I decide the node that I want in this case I have only one node so it's totally fine I will use that one my ID I will put as a uh, 200 because normally I use all my containers as 200 so I should not make an exception so we'll put the name of this no host that will be Ubuntu the pool I didn't configure it yet the password let's put our password and repeat the password and now template template I will select the local one and I put the template that red configure disk I will leave in a CFS because supposedly it's more safe I'll put CPU I only want one core because I don't have more anyway memory I'll leave for 512 that's enough for my application I come here in my network and now here that I need to configure it this is the key that I want to configure it name of network 0 I can leave exactly the same if I want to create more than one network yes I can create network 1, 2, 3 and continue on depend off for your application now the bridge I decide that I want to make all the containers in this one so we'll put here active now what else I need to do I need to define the IP address so it will be 192.168.2.2 the one that we define slash 24 and the gateway I will put 192.168.1.1 and now they allowed me to go for next step I'll put DHCP uh, will be aleatory and I'll put DNS I don't need to configure it configuration supposedly everything's okay I will put finish now the stage that the container is great because a container it's really really fast so I don't expect to take more than a few seconds and it's done so I can close it I can open my container and I can start it. and now that has been configured I can come here in uh, console and see what happened here in console the red appeared the option to login so I'll put root I define I add my password that was defined before and I put IP address and here right up here 192.168.2.2 so now my IP address has been configured in this way you can have a filter some containers will be in uh, one network connection others containers will be another one or some virtual machines will be one network connection in this way you can make a balance and make the best uh, usage of your hardware so guys I hope that you like this video as I told you these videos only fit for few people that have more than uh, one network card or one network connection your server in this case you know how to do this configuration but if you could not do it because of different reason don't worry next video we're gonna show something else it's only interesting for you know and you be aware that if you go for this option or you need to do this configuration here you can follow it so if you like this video and think that was interesting don't forget to leave your like consider to subscribe for the channel and see you next time